The faith of an atheist is a hard thing to shake. Did you know that atheists live by faith? Not faith in God, obviously, but they do live by faith. Whether it's their belief that consciousness and existence cease after death, or their belief that nothing somehow magically created everything, make no mistake, atheists live by faith. Many atheists cling to their faith in science. They claim that science is the only truth and that everything must be tested in a scientific manner. But the problem is that science is not always reliable. Did you know scientists once believed that the world was flat and that bleeding was the best way to rid the body of disease? Sometimes science is wrong. The word science simply means knowledge and unfortunately man's knowledge isn't always correct. When it comes to the knowledge of God, how would a scientist expect to perform a lab test on the one who measures the universe within the span of his hand? How would you measure the immeasurable, contain the uncontainable, or somehow fit your creator into a test tube? It wouldn't happen. God doesn't submit to our tests. It's us who must submit to Him. As Christians, it's not our job to convince anyone that God exists. Romans 1.20 says that everyone knows that God exists. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. The atheist is quick to preach. There is no evidence for the existence of God, period. Since an atheist presupposes there is no God, no amount of evidence will pull him away from his blind faith in naturalism. For example, if I were to have a videotape of God coming down from heaven, the atheist would say it was a special effect. If I had a thousand eyewitnesses saying that they saw him, they would say it was mass hysteria. If I had Old Testament prophecies fulfilled in the New Testament, they'd say the documents were forged, uh, dated incorrectly, or not real prophecies. You see, a skeptic isn't looking for evidence in an open-minded way. Their minds are closed to God and closed to the truth of God's word. So instead of convincing atheists of that which they already know, our job is to gently point out their foolish thinking and to warn them that they're in terrible danger for breaking God's moral law. Unless they repent and trust in Jesus, they will perish on Judgment Day. So don't be intimidated. Explain the law and preach the gospel to everyone, including atheists.